Sports. It's in the game. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on live action from Liga. It's Toulouse, and they face Clermont Foot. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Can he make a count? And thumped away. He might be able to profit from the wide position. A really sumptuous ball. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Okay. Well, time just challenge magnificently. This looks interesting. Well, possibilities in the centre. Goalkeeper should take charge. Greg John Kay. A danger here as he runs at them. But they dealt with the threat posed. Didn't quite go to plan. Gastia. Ali Du Seydou. There to win it back. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Can he play it in? Still passing it around with authority. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Kawi, not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Now will the cross work out for them? Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Promising attack this. And he takes on the shot. And that's sound goalkeeping. Dangerous looking attack. He can't hold on to it. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Kay. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Can he convert? And no problems at all for the keeper. 
Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Can he put it in? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Gastia. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Chance to do damage. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, could be. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And the whistle is sounded for half time. So back underway here into the second half. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Elbasan Rashani. Neto Borges. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Branko van den Bowman. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Big chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. Nice and easy for the keeper. Gastia. Elbasan Rashani. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Crossing possibilities. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Flag up, tight offside. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He's given it away. Danger here as he runs at them. Interception to snuff out the danger. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. Will it be? 
He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Played over. Can he make it count? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Three goals without reply. 20 minutes to go. And providing width. Kawi. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. And you don't want to lose possession there. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Might be a chance here. the woodwork can you believe it well he beats the keeper with power but really that should be hitting the back of the net and with play stop they will make the change now well he keeps going magnificent defending So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. He goes short. Well, closed down straight away. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. A gift for any goalkeeper. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. It's looking promising. The save was a good one. And they're making a change. Over it comes. Not really the ideal clearance. Gabriel Suasso. Moving forward effectively. Superbly read and executed. Throw ins given. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces.